Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to replace the uh, driver's side front door handle, uh, pretty much the same as the passenger side as well. Uh, on this 95 Accord, same as any 94 to 97 Accord four-door, uh, both sedan and station wagon. Tools you'll need are a Phillips screwdriver, um, kind of a regular size one, and a number one, which is the smaller size, not the smallest size, but the smaller size. A regular screwdriver, both a regular size and a small one, putty knife and a rag or a door panel clip tool, and a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet uh, with an extension. Okay, we're going to kind of burn through taking the door panel off. If you want to see this in regular motion, just check out our other videos for the uh, Accord door panel removal. Um, you probably can get enough here. It's a couple of screws. Remove your door handle. Uh, remove your switches there. And then uh, unplug the switches. And then kind of take your putty knife or your door panel clip tool and a rag so you don't scratch your paint. And release the clips on the door panel. Pull it up and off. Um, and then after that, um, carefully remove your water shield. And if you look closely on this car, they kind of, at some point, somebody's torn it all up. Um, but you want to carefully remove it. Remove all the screws and stuff that hold the brackets on and remove the clips that hold the wiring on so you can get it off in one piece because it does keep um, keeps moisture out of the car. So once we get through this, uh, then we'll go to the door handle. Okay, so you want to remove this brown clip here in the door. Okay, it's holding a wiring harness. Basically, just take a screwdriver, kind of twist it in there to push it out. Okay, and then go to the top side and twist and push out, and it comes right out. And then the next step is there's a little clip holding the back of the lock cylinder. And reach in there with a small screwdriver and pry that clip off. There it goes. Now you want to use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two bolts holding the handle. Now you can just kind of push up here and push the bottom of your door handle out and then, then you want to slide it forward some until you see actually and you want to pull this arm off And then pull this down so you can see this little screw here and then you want to use a number one Phillips screwdriver which is uh, small but not the smallest and you want to unscrew that little screw which then allows this assembly to come off pushing that screw in. Okay, so a lot of times what will happen is when you move your handle forward, um, you kind of get it out of line. So what you want to do is kind of pull it back in place so it's in the right spot. And then reach, I'm reaching in here with this hand and pushing back up on that little tab. Okay, getting it, the handle to come out. Okay, then rotating it forward. Okay, and now your handle's out. Um, what you want to do right here, this uh, wiring harness is going to be held on by a little clip, so you want to pry that off, okay, which gives you a little bit of wiggle room. And then this uh, rod is clipped in here. So basically what you want to do is take a little screwdriver 
and you want to be um, using this finger to pull on the rod and just kind of pull it up, pull it down, and push it through. And then your door handle's out. Once you have the uh, handle out, new handles generally don't come with your lock, plus you want to have uh, the lock that fits your key, so you'll want to swap over the lock. Um, so back here, it's held in with a retaining clip. You want to take that retaining clip and pry it off to the side, okay, and then pull it up and out. Okay, and then your lock will come out, okay. On the new handle, generally they come with the clip in, okay. So the clip's in, and you just take your lock and put it into the new handle. Unfortunately, I don't have a new handle in stock to show you. And then you press it in and make sure that you hear a good click. Okay, and then press on your lock to make sure it's installed well. Before you go to reinstall the handle, you need to actually take this off of this rod so that you can then put it back onto the handle. Okay, so to re reinstall, you want to take this little assembly, okay, and you want the wiring harness to go up above, and there's a little locating pin right there, and you put that down, and then on. Let this stay together here, and then put the screw down in. Tighten up this screw. And then this, you want pointing towards the front of the handle. You want this, uh, this end here pointing towards the front of the handle. Put it down on there. And you take your clip and push it on some with your hand. And the rest of the way with your screwdriver, either a flat blade or I'm just using kind of the end of the Phillips. Make sure it gets all the way on there. Okay, and now uh, route this wiring harness down through, and it's got a little clip here that clips right in there, and then you want to make sure that this and your other rod here are nice and free, they don't, they're not caught on anything, then you take the handle, put the back side up and in, Okay, kind of get it in and slide it back at the same time, and then it clicks in. Now inside the door we need to reconnect our two rods. Okay, make sure they're both nice and free. They're not uh, hooked on anything. Get this lock rod first, just get it right up into place, and then push it in. Okay, and then way up top, you can see your latch rod. Push that right in. If you have that done, you just kind of line up the handle and put in your two 10 millimeter bolts. And then make sure you put this little pin back in place to hold the harness. Okay, so we're going to speed through uh, reattaching everything and putting the water shield back on. Make sure you put the water shield back on and put all the uh, components on. Then put the door panel on and you're all set. If you want to see this part in regular motion, just check out our other videos um, for the Honda Accord uh, driver's side door panel. Okay.